Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions. My name's Chris, and this is Free PBX 101 version 15, part 19, where we're gonna be setting up some Clearly IP SIP trunks. Clearly IP is one of our three recommended SIP trunking providers. That is Crosstalk SIP, Clearly IP, and VoIP.ms. We like to use Clearly IP specifically for some of our larger or more complex deployments, such as schools and hospitals, since Clearly IP has some really, really good tools for not only uptime and making sure that the quality of their trunks is crystal clear and reliable, but they also have really, really good E911 configurations, far better than anyone else that I've seen. So if you don't have just simple vanilla E911 needs, we typically opt for Clearly IP SIP trunking in those cases because their stuff is just absolutely fantastic. So let's hop right into it. Here I am at the dashboard of free PBX, but I'm actually gonna go over here to Clearly IP. So when you set up your Clearly IP SIP trunk, you are going to be setting up a location that has your DIDs associated with that location, the address, all of the pertinent information. And when you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you have this key code right here. So we're gonna copy this key code. And this is another one of the reasons why I really, really like Clearly IP SIP trunking. It's just hands down one of the easiest free PBX integrated SIP trunks to set up. So let's go back to the Crosstalk PBX here. We're gonna say connectivity, and we're gonna to go to Clearly Trunking. Now, right now it says this system is unconfigured. What we're gonna do is we're gonna paste our key code from the trunking.clearlyip.com portal, and we're gonna click Submit. And there we go. The SIP trunks are set up. For the most part, they are set up at this point. So we can see some of the features of the SIP trunk. If we click on number listing, we can see our DID. I have one DID with Clearly IP for this location. It's 272-249-2220. I chose that DID when I set up this location in the Clearly IP portal. And then for emergency listing, I already have E911 on this server through Crosstalk SIP, so I didn't set up any of the E911 stuff with Clearly IP, but you can see that they've got everything that you would possibly need. Callback profiles, dispatchable locations, uh, your mapping of your device to which caller ID that they're using, uh, route notifications, who gets notified when, when 911 is dialed, and then you've got your different notification management. So if we go back and click on the trunking location tab, I can now click this button here that says auto configure outbound routes. And we're gonna choose the caller ID for the trunk. If you had multiple caller IDs, maybe you want your main caller ID to be something other than what pops up here by default. In my case, I just have the one caller ID, so that's fine. We're gonna say save changes. And now clearly IP has successfully configured those routes. If you wanted to set up inbound routes as well, you can click on number listing and then say auto configure missing inbound routes. I already have a default inbound route set up on this server, so I'm not gonna do that in this case, but if clearly IP is your only SIP trunk, you probably wanna hit that button. So let's see what it did here. If I go to connectivity and then I click on trunks, so here's all of our crosstalk SIP trunks that we set up in the previous video but now I have four new trunks. I've got one .us central clearly IP.com, or I should say one and two US central, and one and two uh, from their east data center. So there are four redundant trunks for clearly IP. And if I go to connectivity outbound routes, they have also automatically added this clearly trunking outbound with the caller ID of my clearly IP trunk and it's shifted my crosstalk SIP default trunk uh, down one, right? Which is fine. Again, you can configure this most times when you're setting up free PBX, you're not gonna have multiple different SIP trunking providers, but you can, right? So if you wanna have that level of redundancy, especially for outbound, inbound redundancy is a little bit harder because a carrier actually owns your phone numbers. So load balancing an inbound phone number across multiple carriers isn't really a thing. You can do some of that with like call forwarding or whatnot. So I would recommend having multiple outbound SIP trunking providers, especially if one of those providers is metered, meaning you're just paying for a minute. You're gonna have a very low monthly phone bill unless you actually use minutes and then you're just getting billed per minute for the minutes that you use. So let's take a look at the clearly trunking outbound trunk. 
And here we can see that they have their four trunks for the outbound sequence when you're dialing outbound. If we click on dial patterns, we can see that they have also pre-populated a number of dial patterns, including 988, which is that suicide prevention hotline that we talked about in the previous video. Now, a couple of adjustments that I would make to this default dial pattern, as you can see, there's seven digit dialing, but we're not prepending anything. So we wanna say 1272 to, pretend, to prepend our local area code. For the 10 digit dial, I'm gonna just prepend a one to make it an 11 digit dial by default. And then I also wanna add a plus one NXX and XXXXXX, just in the case we have phones that, uh, that prepend a plus to phone numbers that are redialed from the phone itself. Okay, so let's go ahead and say submit and apply config. And let's go ahead and test it out. So we should have an inbound route set up already. The default inbound route that I set up in the previous video should also work for the Clearly IP trunk phone number, the Clearly IP trunk DID. So let's go ahead and call that. 1272249-2220 and call. Phone is ringing. Hello, hello. Oh. Test, test, test. Check, 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 check. So there we go, two-way audio on the inbound side. Let's go ahead and try to dial outbound. And the caller ID calling in is that 2220 DID. So I know it's coming across the Clearly IP trunks. Let's go ahead and answer that call. Hello, hello. hello. Check, 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 test, 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 test. And there we also have two-way audio on the outbound call as well. So super easy to set up. I love Clearly IP SIP trunking. Uh, if you have any questions about Clearly IP SIP trunking, if you're looking to sign up for Clearly IP SIP trunking, all the links and information are down in the description below. In our next two videos, we're going to dig deeper into inbound and outbound routing. We've touched on it a little bit in these two videos, but the next two videos, we're gonna dig a lot deeper into those features. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you give a thumbs up if you did, and we will see you in the next video.